Good morning. Well, today what we're going to try to tackle is the very last loft hatch installation for this house anyways. What I'm having to deal with is a bit of a strange tiled ceiling. And from what I can research around the 60s, 1960s, 1970s, something like that, they started doing this in France. I don't know if they did anywhere else. But what they are is they're tiles that are kind of uh, mortared together and they're held in place by wires that are strapped to the ceiling joists. So they do that and they basically put two tiles, they put a, a strap and they put a couple of tiles and a strap and a, like a thing like that that hangs down with like a little T on it. So what I want to do um, is very carefully cut out a square, the exact, just about the exact size I'm going to need for the trapdoor frame. Well, because really what it is, it's in really good condition, the ceiling. So I don't want to mess it up. Um, the other ones like that I've been too fussy with because as soon as you start touching lath and plaster, it cracks and breaks. So I'm gonna have to patch up anyways. But if I can get a really nice tight fit on this, install it that way. And then I'll make the frame and install the thing. And then we can take a look also what is up there. There's a lot of water damage in this room. So I'm thinking there's probably a lot of holes, but I'm not sure. Water damage isn't, isn't the biggest issue. It's more like I can see where it's been leaking. I don't see any kind of cracks or real big issues with any of the tiles, like nothing's dropped or or an issue so it should work so we're gonna see and uh, that'll give me the access to run the electricity this way and anything else I need to do including insulating it so let's get on with that So I ended up being a little less precise than I wanted. Uh, as you can see, the rafters aren't even close to being straight or anything else. So I'm like, eh, what am I going to do? It doesn't really matter. I'll do my best to keep it um, at least kind of in the corner. Those wall also tilts a bit and that corner also is whatever. All the walls are a bit off. So I'm not really being as fussy as I thought I would be. Uh, I was more worried about punching through and getting into an area where I couldn't. I didn't know if they were doing rafters the other way or not. But uh, yeah, basically, let's uh, go take a look up there and see what it looks like. Here we go up into the attic. You can see the insulation that I've uh, folded back right here. Doesn't look to be too bad of a shape. I think we're getting quite a bit of water over in this corner. In the far corner over there. It just rained yesterday, so it looks like it's still dripping. I'm not seeing a lot of light coming through. I'm going to shut the light off and see if we can see Get way in the back over there. It's hard to see, but there's a bit of light over there. Otherwise, it looks pretty airtight. Yeah, a little bit back there. I can see all the insulation is only like sort of semi-rolled, which is pretty ridiculous. Whole section of it not installed over there, which is not great. I don't know why they have this extra bracing on here. Maybe it's to keep, to stop the rafters from bowing from the tiles. I don't know if I should replace the whole roof or not. There's that much weight. This one must have climbed up there at some point. I'm gonna have to climb up and in there and replace all this insulation. It's uh, way too little. We have to think, but I think we'll put the trapdoor in anyways for now. And then we'll decide what I want to do with this afterwards. But yeah, it doesn't look to be too bad. I don't see a lot of missing tiles, surprisingly. I just see the insulation lifted up in places, which is kind of weird. I don't know why they would do that. There's no reason for that bit straight ahead of us to be Shift it up, and I can tell. I don't see any dead critters or anything in here, so that's pretty good. That looks like there's not much to see in this one. Like we got lucky. That's good. Just a weird setup where they have these wires 
running, su holding, suspending up the ceiling rafters on these main ones. I don't like it. I think you would have put this much weight of these tiles on the ceiling. You shouldn't, you know. I could have just put big rafters in, but whatever. Decide what I want to do with that. They have a little bit of this on the other side, the uh, house. So I'm not quite sure why they have done it exactly this way on this one, but sure. All right, so next up, I'm going to measure the cross uh, braces for me to just screw up into for the, uh, the frame for the trap door. So I was just about to go and start notching out the areas that I had notched out before in the other trap doors. And then I realized, oh, wait a sec. Let's check the height. So, so how far this hangs down is much lower than uh, the, the lath and plaster. So I've basically what I've gone and done is I've cut uh, shims to go around and pieces of wood to go around to lower it down a little bit so that it is flush with the ceiling. Uh, the other ones were within, you know, like just a smidge, like a quarter of an inch or an eighth of an inch. So I'll just kind of make that up with plaster. I'm not too worried about it one way or the other. Uh, but this one needed to come down a lot more. Uh, and that also will allow me to do much less notching. So I'm going to go put those up, uh, drilling into them, and then I'm going to basically uh, screw them up, attach the frame and see where, or at least push the frame up and see where I actually need to notch out. So let's do that now. Well, there we go. That's it. That's the last trap door for this house, at least for now that I know of. And uh, went a lot, well, I wouldn't say it went any easier. It was a bit different with the, the tiles and stuff like that. But overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, less of a mess than the last one, that's for sure. But anyways, that's the end of it for this video. Next video, I'm going to start ripping apart that upstairs bathroom. So uh, tune in then. And uh, if you get a sec, give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe. Thanks again for watching. Cheers.